Bridges is the first green commercial building in Memphis, where we meet the needs of the present without compromising the environmental needs of future generations. We want to raise the awareness about environmental sustainability, so we use certain materials in our building so that we can reach the height of environmental awareness. Bridges is located in the heart of Uptown, specifically Greenlaw. Now, when they actually wanted to build a building, they wanted to be a part of the community and not overshadow any other buildings in the neighborhood. They also wanted to showcase environmentally sustainable building practices. Come take a tour of Bridges. If you look up at our ceiling, you'll see that these ceilings are different from any other buildings you've been in. Our ceiling exposed our air ducts, our water pipes, as well as our light fixtures. Our light fixtures have CFLs, our compact fluorescent light bulbs. These light bulbs use 75% less energy than incandescent light bulbs and can last 10 times longer. Because of their efficiency, it keeps our costs low here at Bridges. To save energy and money, what's one energy resource that we can use instead of overhead lighting? That's right, the sun. Here in the High Adventure Hall, we use the sun's light with something called daylighting, the design of a room that uses the most amount of natural sunlight. Also, the sun offers us heat to the space. That's called passive solar gain. That's solar energy in the form of heat. Some of the room's elements include floor-to-ceiling windows to let in as much light and heat as possible. The long side of the building faces south, which means it gets the maximum amount of sunlight each day. Overhangs protect the building from getting too much sunlight. They act like hats, with visors on top to protect us from the sun's rays. And smart tree planting used on the south side provides shade in the summer when the leaves are green and growing, but allow the sun's rays to enter the building in the winter when the tree's leaves fall. Steel, concrete, and some plastics can be recycled into useful objects. Wood and glass are also reusable and recyclable materials that we used in this section of the High Adventure Hall. The carpets are made from recycled soda bottles. The walls are made from fly ash concrete. Fly ash is what's left over after coal's been burned. Reusing ash is good for the environment because it reduces pollution and conserves the energy it would take to use new materials to make concrete. It's also stronger and uses less water during construction. These beams are made from steel. A hundred years from now, these steel beams and girders could be melted down and recycled into new products or used again in other buildings. It takes much less energy to reuse and reform steel than it does to make new steel from raw materials. What are some of the household objects and building materials that you can recycle or reuse? Here at Bridges, not only do we recycle paper or plastic, but we also recycle rainwater. So when it rains here at Bridges, the rainwater goes into our rain garden. Rain gardens manage stormwater runoff. That's rain that falls on surfaces that don't absorb water like driveways or roofs. That water mixes with oil, pollutants, and other harmful chemicals that make the water really dirty. During heavy rainfalls, this water is collected into storm drains and eventually gets dumped into the Mississippi River. A rain garden catches the water before it goes into the river, cleans it, and returns it to the ground safely through our underground drain and gravel system. There are new innovations being developed every day to help our environment. Innovations such as permeable concrete. Permeable concrete allows water to pass through, so it acts as a filter for that rainwater. The average person in the U.S. uses 100 gallons of water every day. That's a lot of water. But there's water all around us. In fact, 75% of our Earth's surface is water. But the water we can actually use to drink is a very small percentage of the water on the planet. Only 3%. So we have to conserve as much water as possible. If we use less fresh, clean groundwater today, and if we protect groundwater from contamination, future generations will have fresh, clean groundwater too. There are lots of cool forms of alternative energy, like wind energy and biofuel. But here at Bridges, we've got a solar panel array. Did you know that a solar panel array works like a tree? The sun gives us heat and light. Solar panels convert or change the sun's light into electricity that can be used to power any electrical device in a home, office, or school. Solar panels are also called photovoltaic panels, or PV. Solar panels work in much the same way as plants and trees. Each leaf is a model of a tiny solar panel. Plants absorb sunlight and convert it into food by a process that's called photosynthesis. Again, photo means light, and synthesis means put together. One tiny solar cell provides a relatively small amount of power, 
but many cells are combined to make a panel. And many panels are combined to make an array. On a sunny day at Bridges, this PV array can make enough electricity to power three three-bedroom houses. This process doesn't produce carbon like coal-burning power plants do. It's clean energy. The electricity generated at Bridges flows into the local utility power grid. We contribute to something called the Green Power Switch, which is a regional program to develop renewable energy such as wind and solar. Your household can choose to support the Green Power Switch too by choosing to pay an extra $4 per month on your utility bill. Did you know that solar energy can be stored in water? At the Bridges Center, we actually use solar energy to heat our water. That's called passive solar gain. The sun's a free source of energy for heating the water in your shower or sink. These vacuum tubes do just that. Each glass tube contains a copper plate covered with a semiconductor film that helps move the heat around. Copper is used because it conducts heat very efficiently. The copper device is in a glass vacuum tube that contains no air. The vacuum allows the heat to become very concentrated inside the tube. Solar heat is stored in a thick fluid and transferred to water through a heat exchange system. At the other end of the system, you can turn on the faucet and wash your hands with water heated from the sun. Bridges Rooftop Garden is not just for beauty. It saves water and energy too. This rooftop garden helps keep things cool inside. Surrounding rooftops are usually made of asphalt, a material that can absorb sunlight and reach temperatures of up to 165 degrees. That's hot enough to fry an egg. A cool rooftop garden can keep a roof up to 70 degrees cooler than a regular roof during the hottest summer days. The sunlight also heats the asphalt, which helps the beautiful plants grow. There are lots of benefits to having a rooftop garden. It improves the quality of air. Plants absorb carbon dioxide made from people breathing and automobile exhaust, and it releases oxygen. It provides a habitat for migrating birds and other beneficial insects, not to mention a beautiful place for people to enjoy. And as we've said before, it captures rainwater. In the summer, big cities with lots of hot rooftops, streets, and parking lots can have temperatures much hotter than the surrounding area, creating what is called the heat island effect. The heat island effect can increase the temperature in cities by as much as 10 degrees. Cool rooftop gardens decrease that heat island effect. A city without it could save up to 8% of its overall energy bill. Air we breathe indoors is five times dirtier than the air that's outside. That's because the air inside is recycled air that we've been breathing in and out all day long. And not only us, but the other people that are in the building. We spend a majority of our time living inside, and indoor air can contain many things that make people sick, like mold spores, germs, mildew, bacteria, viruses, pollen, and pet dander. There's also volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. VOCs are chemicals that are found in indoor paint, cleaners, and insulation. The air filters that we have in our homes help to trap all of these pollutants, so the air that we breathe is cleaner. If you don't change your air filters, you'll continue to breathe in all these pollutants and the possibility of getting sick multiplies. What can happen to people if they breathe dirty air? You can get the flu or even asthma. Memphis has one of the highest rates of asthma in the US. Think about different techniques that can be used to create healthier indoor environments. There is an area in the middle of our building that has windows on each side and a skylight open. This area is our light well. Light wells allow soft natural light to enter into the interior of our building. This saves money on the electric bill because lights aren't turned on as often. Using natural light from light wells reduces the need for electricity up to 80%. The sunlight also promotes a more energetic work environment. Because there is a balanced amount of sunlight, light wells are ideal for gardens and tree planting to promote cleaner air. The plants in our light well are native to Memphis and don't have to be fed with anything other than water. These indigenous plants are native because they evolved to grow in this specific region and are accustomed to this environment. Native plants require few pesticides, unlike non-indigenous plants. Because feeding these plants are tied to what goes back into the ground and ultimately into our drinking water, native plants are essential for a healthier environment. At Bridges, we've done a lot to be environmentally sustainable. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at bridgesusa.org backslash ODE.